chill out. I know you hit play and you just start fucking screaming, freaking out like the Beatles just came on stage. Everyone calm down, all right? We're back. The boys, the boys are back, okay? The boys are back. You'll listen to another episode of Loud About Nothing with your boy, that fucking smoke show. You know he's hot as fuck. He's the hottest dude doing podcasts right now, okay? That's straight fucking thotty. A boo 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 body. <laughs> Give it up for me, Mr. Sebastian Canelli. <laughs> People fucking going nuts out there. People going nuts. All right, calm down. Everyone chill out. So normally, normal, normal, <laughs> normally, we got the fucking hottie with the body, right? We got the cute boy, Rob. But today, Instead, we got the Mr. Sourpuss. We got the fucking sack of mashed potatoes over here. Fucking Mr. Potato Head, if he lost all his fucking expressions, you know? Fucking, he's a mean one. Mr. Grinch, I'm talking about Robbie in New Jersey, the fucking Sourpuss. Robbie, say what's up. What's up? Look at him. What a fucking baby Robbie's been. Robbie is a little baby. Robbie, today, I feel blessed that you're my friend and we talk. First time I ever called you a friend. Maybe the last. Uh, uh, <laughs> first time I ever called you a friend. Shut up. He's shut not up. lying. I'm not lying. <laughs> first time. Uh, so usually I'm, I feel happy. I go, yes, I'm going to see Robbie. He looks good. He laughs. He has a good time. He makes jokes. This is fun. The hot boy is not here. He is literally in a grandpa chair in a dirty cum stained couch in his it fucking is probably basement. to be honest. I literally had to beg him. I go, pl- I go, if you don't want to do the podcast, then let's let's fucking wait. Let's do it when you're happy. But I guess he wasn't We're gonna doing get happy. It. <laughs> <laughs> it's We're a sneak doing behind it. the scenes is 10 35 p.m. on 30- Monday night. 1035. And this is coming out about as soon as we finish on Zoom, we're going to be dropping this. I literally had to beg the kid to do the podcast today. I moved I, out. I had a shitty week. I was in my apartment for four years. It was sentimental. I had to move out. I like was moving out and the fucking oh, every U-Hole in New York City was booked up because everybody's moving out of the city. I didn't say this to you in the moment. I didn't say this to you in your moment because I'm a nice man. That's your fault. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> that I didn't, but well, also there was a possibility I wasn't moving out on Wednesday, Thursday. We we decided we were moving out Friday. We moved out Sunday. It is what it is. You're right. It was poor planning. It was poor. I was a little sad. I was a little sad boy in my feelings walking around was, downtown. The kid took and... a selfie in a building, bro. <laughs> the kid took <laughs> a Listening selfie. to Lonely by Justin Bieber. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> The, the kid, the kid was walking around listening to fucking uh, Sunday morning Maroon Five, fucking shedding tears underneath yeah. the bull in the Boulevard city. Boulevard of broken dreams. <laughs> yeah, he's fucking. I watch my city dream. He's a yeah, fucking bro. It pathetic was, uh, Matchbox Twenty listening ass over here, fucking sa- slapping around. So I go, no, let's wait. You wait. Let's let you go back to fucking Scumbagville, Sayville, right? Yeah. Let's let you go to Scumbagville, and then we'll do the podcast. And he gets home. He literally goes, he goes, I didn't even walk through the door and I'm so depressed. <laughs> I got off the train. Yeah, I think nostalgia is a drug that's like sad. I don't know. The kid, know. the kid's not going to be funny. So please no, g- so give him funny. some fucking pity yeah, laughs yeah, give me today. Some pity laughs, please, people at home. You should be happy. Look at you. You probably have a 50 inch TV that weighs 300 pounds in that basement that you're sitting in right here. <laughs> one of the one of those at the back is five foot long. You definitely have a pool table that's only four feet long that you can flip it over to make a foosball table. OK, no pool table, but you're spot on about the team. <laughs> <laughs> you probably have a beer sign that's not plugged in somewhere and it's no. sitting on the ground. I know what basement you're in. You got an ottoman. If you flip it underneath, you'll find where your dad keeps his weed, bro. Yeah. I don't know about that. We'll see. Oh, it is what it is. Back on this couch. I made out with a lot of people in high school on this couch. Just make out, though. Just make out. (laughs) Yeah. You still just make out. I know. (laughs) What has changed? (laughs) Not much. since The location, bro. Nothing has changed. If anything, hand jobs. (laughs) In anything, in high school, you have potential. <laughs> now it's just like, what's happening? <laughs> yeah, I would just yeah make out and get hand jobs. Which, controver- you said something controversial this week. What did I say controversial? I don't know. I guess I would like to pose this question to the listeners, but 
is getting fingered also considered a hand job? You're, I call, you I, you call fingering someone a hand job. I you're call like, it because oh, I'm doing a job. I'm doing a <laughs> it's job. It's work on me. I'm but doing... I never I I, I don't, don't know. Fin- do do women that get fingered or men that get her fingered? Are they like I got a hand job and they're referring to the fingering? They I don't are, think so. They haven't been. They haven't gotten it from me. I don't think <laughs> when you, so when you I tell you that, this, you're giving a hand job. The only time I'm ever fingering is when I'm going to a fucking uh, the uh, Liberty Science Center and I'm at the touch tunnel. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> if what? I'm at the fucking aquarium, if I'm at the touch part of the, the aquarium, tunnel, all you're doing is sliding your hand along Shut a wall, up, bro. No one knows the <laughs> reference, so it doesn't even fucking matter. Okay, <laughs> listen, yes, they we do. Got, okay. Everybody. <laughs> Listen to this podcast. Okay, if I'm dead, lives within 15 miles of the Liberty Science Center. <laughs> That's if I'm down, all of our reach. If I'm downstairs at the Liberty Science Center, I'm learning about static electricity right, inside. Then, then that's the only time I'm doing fingering. If I'm at the aquarium in the kids zone, then I'm doing fingering. If I'm with, uh, if I'm with a person, I'm doing a hand job, bro. <laughs> and that's a thankless. That's a thankless thing. Hand jobs. You think thankless. it's the most thankless sexual act a hundred percent have i said this on the pod already no you because i say it all the time <laughs> i say it all the time it's the most thankless sexual act uh blowjob that's just like a disappointing food i think that's, that's probably disappointing the food. most thankless sexual act no blowjob. no some people so what's your fa- my favorite part of of eating is putting it in my mouth not the swallowing it's the putting it in my mouth how is that not thankless my favorite part of ice cream is the lick, brother. <laughs> so, so you can't tell me. Yeah, but you're licking ice cream, not a sweaty, smelly dick. It's, Excuse it's me. Excuse me. I hit up the bathroom like a fucking gentle man. And I fucking hit, hit oh, it. I, I, you know how they splash off their face in the movies? That's what you do. I do that with my <laughs> You just imagine it in slow motion. <laughs> I fucking clean myself up. You don't? I I guess I do sometimes. I don't know. Not always. Jesus. Not honestly. I guess most of the time, no. It's like out from going out to see. Maybe so you're think- you're at the the bar or wherever you're out on a date with someone, and you come back. You go into the shower and splash off. I, I use the sink, bro. <laughs> oh damn! I use the sink. I give a, cl- a click a quick uh, one two. Oh damn! No, I I don't do that. Hey, maybe, maybe that's, I should. Maybe that's why I'm getting head and you're getting hands. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe that's. I'll why. tell you this. Maybe if fingers could smell, you'd be getting nothing. That's all I'm saying, bro. <laughs> so he's back on the couch. He's back in so Sayville. I'm back, I'm back in in yeah. And I I've moved been trying- out of New York City, which and you've has been, a- been my home for almost five years. And now it's not. Remember that. Now it's not. Now it's not. But I've been trying to be nice to you all week, even though you've been. Now afraid- you have. Yeah. Even though you've been a cranky You've been nice. You also baby. sent some cryptic messages. What do you mean? I did not send cryptic messages. You sent messages. weird. You sent me weird shit. I sent you love. You sent me the other day. I sent Let's you normalize faces. this in relationships. This is beautiful. What did I send? Let's normalize this in relationships. Okay. Having this. disagreements. This is nice. Meeting alone time. Miscommunicating. Experiencing doubts. This is beautiful. Adjusting or adding boundaries. Changing the relationship dynamics uh-huh. as we change. This Making nice. mistakes and apologizing. This is Having us. different sex drives. This Engaging is good. Engaging in difficult and awkward conversations. Having needs met outside the relationship. So I'm just like, oh, Sebastian needs, he's has some girl problems sometimes. And like, this was a nice thing that he saw that he needs to remind himself. And he wants to remind himself to be better in relationships. Nope. And then he goes, no, bro, that was for us. <laughs> I'm like, that was for us. what? I'm like, what? We, that was for us. You're, not a, you're not a friend, but we're in a relationship. I'll we're, in a right relationship. Now. we're in a relationship. If this ain't a relationship, I don't know what the fuck I, I is, think bro. you're right. I don't disagree with that, but I just we, didn't think that this fucking thing applies to us. We were having, we were we have bickering. Really good conversation. We were bickering. We had disagreements. <laughs> and I said to you this, I go, let's normalize this. This is beautiful. You know, let's normalize having different sex drives. Uh, Robbie, how often have I told you to send me new? <laughs> he has, he has. There's also a whole thing that he wants me to take a bunch of nudes for a clip idea that he has a good idea for a funny sketch. And he's yes! just like, when am I going to get the nudes? Oh, <laughs> I'll be like, oh, I got mad pizza before I moved out of the city because 
I don't know. I'm going to really miss having New York pizza. He's like, I guess I'm not going to get those nudes for another two or three weeks. <laughs> like, what? I mean, you might never get the fucking nudes. Every time he tells me he eats shitty food, I literally go, ah, where, where are those nudes? I literally, anytime he tells me what he's eating, I just remind him that I want nudes. <laughs> that's it. And I think that's okay, Robbie. Does it keep, does it make you feel good? Yeah. When I send you, send nudes, how do you feel? Oh, oh, I thought you meant the foods. The food made me feel good. The food makes you feel good. When you ask me to take news, I'm like, I don't know if I want to do this video this, I, this video yet. But I don't fun. know if I want to post nudes to my Instagram story. Maybe if you listen to this episode and you trust Sebastian's comedic value, trust- which obviously you think Sebastian's <laughs> funny if you're listening. Yes. Uh, trust my and you think you, I should take news. Yeah. Uh, Listen, Robbie, you're hot, bro. We and maybe gotta, I'll do it. We got to utilize it, man. He wants it. We got to get, it. we got to take your shirt off for, for a couple of the funny I know. ideas. I, I don't know. think, I think you think I'm hotter than I am, but all right. Robbie, maybe. I, haven't, I haven't seen you in a minute, but so who knows? But all I'm saying, <laughs> back, all in I'm the say, day. back in the day, yeah, maybe you're right. We need that. Also, it says different sex drives, which I thought was a little strange. We do have, but we do have different sex drives because another thing he texted me. No, don't say this. No, don't say this. No, no, no. You say that I'm like out here, out and about. I'm not. I'm chill. I haven't. No, no. I just make out and get an occasional hand drop. But you, yes, text me a picture. Am I allowed to say it? Okay, just say it. Hurry up. He sends me a screenshot of a text conversation that says. Him, I just came, and then the person responds with the little, uh, like, congratulation, like, party emoji. <laughs> because it's so funny. And I guess that's funny, but I just take that as you just finished. <laughs> you say that. The person <laughs> responds, I guess, that you were talking to texting with, and then you just screenshot it and send it to me. So I'm like... Just picturing you just finishing. Like, <laughs> Wait, you didn't like not that... even finished. <laughs> imagine. imagine got the... any, I, in my head, I'm like, you didn't even clean up yet. I know. I cleaned up. <laughs> this was a while after. This was a while after. I just thought it was fucking funny as shit. I, I, I just, something happened. But I basically got a text from you that says, I just can't. That's beautiful. And I did. And uh, But here's the thing. You know how funny it is to be celebrated like that after coming? That is nice. It literally, it was like I told her. I got, uh, oh, yeah, I just got a promotion at work, and she sent me the celebration emoji. Yeah. You know, that's how low the bar is. She well, I don't know how that, I don't really engage in, like, sexting like that. I don't I know. told I told her next time to send me balloons in the mail. You know yeah. what I mean? <laughs> send me a fucking singing telegram. This is, this is nice. This is the sort of, this is the sort of relationships I want to be in. You know, these are the sort of girls I want to be talking to. I came. That's nice. And then they sent me fucking confetti that drops on my screen, you know? <laughs> you know how good that feels? What's a normal response to that when you're texting? Hot. Oh. I don't know. I don't know either, bro. That's I not said, my thing. I, I'll say this. This doesn't make me look flattering either. All right. I sent the, I sent the DP, COVID. What are you going to do? <laughs> He's going. <laughs> oh, he Should I not? This? We maybe got this. We maybe got this. <laughs> I sent the DP. Okay. I said the DP because you gotta fucking the co the, the COVID. You know I what guess I'm people are doing that on Snapchat or something like disappearing or it's it's a full on. It's out there. It's out. There. <laughs> it could be used in a PowerPoint presentation. Yeah, bro. It's in. The, it's real as hell. It's in the cloud, bro. It's in the it's, cloud. <laughs> it's in the cloud. Oh no! If you ever see something peeking through the cloud, you know what it is. You can post it on Instagram and use the uh, filter it up. Yeah, it's okay. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? So I said, I'm trying to, I'm trying to get a fucking good ang- ang- angle on the DP. You know, I'm okay. trying to do it. Uh, I and you. fucking, you call me, and your big ass face just appears on my phone <laughs> while you're standing there. While I'm standing, literally, dick in I'm, hand, I'm, I'm, yeah. trying to sauce it up a little i'm just trying to i'm like i'm like i'm like just trying get to get to those p- extra little, little yes. extra push the peak fucking <laughs> what's body, the hottest bro? thing i can think of that'll give me an extra inch and fucking you're fucking do, 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 do. And my no, face you came know. up and you were like perfect <laughs> <laughs> no what happened i fucking came and then and, no. and then she goes she just sent me a dot 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 and i go ah, never mind and no she actually uh, said congratulations <laughs> 
<laughs> she uh, sent me just a picture of Post Malone dancing, bro. That's beautiful. We so probably, you're not cuffing yourself. We probably cut you all lied of, to the We audience. probably cut all of this. <laughs> we probably have to cut everything so far that we said in the episode. <laughs> wow. Okay, let's get to some shit that uh, we could actually So talk tell about. your friends about this podcast. We got a lot of new <laughs> listeners in the past few weeks. So please continue to tell your friends. As you can see, Sebastian and I are both in our parents' house. We would love if you continue to spread the word yes. tell your friends call into the podcast 929-900-6393 yeah we're taking and let calls. us know what you're loud about um we like hearing from you guys obviously we appreciate all the love if you're listening to the episode phones on listen to the episode you start laughing maybe you take a little screenshot of the of the episode maybe throw it up on the instagram story be like hey yes. i just laughed at this when your friends DM you, what is this? You give us a nice little. Uh, you tell them, and, and maybe you'll tell them this episode where uh, where my first intro is just talking about that. You know, <laughs> we have to cut, Robbie. We have to cut. We talk about that later. Jesus Christ! <laughs> All right. You know, also let's uh, fucking where at. Uh, we got mad five star reviews. Keep on five star review that shit. If you haven't given us a five star review and you listen to all the episodes, write a five star review on iTunes for us on the iTunes app. Thank you so much, bro. But now you're fucking in Sayville. I'm Staten Island. We're hometown heroes right now, bro. Yeah, we're hometown heroes. We're hometown boys now. I just was on Snapchat taking pictures of myself, getting the Sayreville filter. So I had to tell my Sayreville homies <laughs> back this in town, so baby. S- <laughs> this is so. It's not good. I'm <laughs> yeah, not- I can make some Sayreville magic happen. I'm not proud. I'm not proud to be in Staten Island. Yeah, I mean, it Staten is what Island it is. Staten Island sucks, bro. I'll tell you this. There's there's a bar in Staten Island. And what did they what's the word for it? What did they uh when they when they uh, uh emancipate from the um an autonomous zone? Staten Island, there's a, officially an autonomous zone in Staten Island. Was it for <laughs> so I lived downtown and there was an autonomous zone when there was like protests or Black Lives Matter and we there was like a lot of deep on the police talk Something- happening. Something much more important. And I would go to the autonomous zone. It was actually pretty cool. It doesn't really sound like Staten Island's hot. No, no. You know what they did? What? They just turned the bar into an autonomous zone so they could drink. <laughs> they literally, there's a bar in Staten Island that goes, fuck They it. seceded from the United <laughs> they, States. They seceded for Coors Lights. For they Coors seceded, Lights. They seceded for fucking fireball shots. And yeah. here's the thing. If I'm going to create an autonomous zone in Staten Island, I'm not going to make it more Staten Island. You know what I'm saying? Are we trying to escape the reality that's happening? It's, if I had an autonomous zone in Staten Island, I would say when you walk in, you have to take your Tims off and you have to wear loafers around. No <laughs> fuck fucking. All, all I'm loafers. Not going. <laughs> Bro, you're going. Fireplace. I'm going to the bar. Fuck it. With. There's fireplaces and you can't light, light a single fucking blunt or, yeah, in, in the fireplace, bro. Okay. <laughs> that's going to be. If I make an autonomous zone in Staten Island, it's literally going to be beautiful. Books. We're going to read books. <laughs> we're going to read books in my autonomous zone in Staten Island. And we're going to have plays. And no one could. No yeah, one maybe could, create know, a little art scene. I'm going to create an art scene. And if I create an art scene in Staten Island, it will have to be autonomous because the riots out, outside of it would be wild if I created an art scene in Staten Island. <laughs> the, the people would be fucking picketing the art scene. Or it would just be a lot of uncles being like, hey, he likes it. What the fuck am I going to do? <laughs> yeah. He likes what the fuck am I gonna do? He likes what am I supposed? What am I supposed? The, the kid likes not the one. Oh my God, fucking take this shit away from him. <laughs> that's hey. like the most reasonable guy. That's, that's, that's the, like as progressive as it gets. That's a good the man. fuck. Oh my God, that's yeah. it. Hey, do I like it? Get the fuck out of here. But he likes it. You know, I, 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 I don't need him getting involved in no pills. So let, let him fucking dance on stage. You know, <laughs> that was the yeah. kind uncle watching my shows. Yeah, <laughs> that was the kind uncle. In my autonomous zone, we would allow that uncle in. That's nice. So they just made a bar. They didn't have any other stipulations. Well, it's just, just you could say wanna, open past 10 p.m. Yeah, they just want to be open. And and I get that. I, I get COVID is literally taking everything. I know. It's just going to Jeff Bezos is going to own every single bar. <laughs> it's going to be terrible. He already so owns much. a grocery store. <laughs> he owns oh grows everything. It's going to be Jeff Bezos' bar all over the country. Jeff, that's that's going to suck. I'm going to name a nice big Bezos bar. 
Yeah, it would suck. I, I'm not fucking with Be- Bezos' bar, you know? He yeah. fucking does flash deals, you know, for, for <laughs> fucking shitty-ass liquors. <laughs> yeah. I, unpaid. I, everyone that works there is an unpaid intern. Uh, everybody. <laughs> everybody that works at Bezos' bar is a fucking unpaid intern. And in the back, you can watch a fucking Handmaid's Tale when you go take a piss. They have a little yeah. fucking... They, they do all the fucking uh, shows for you on Prime. They show you what's happening. That's on Hulu, but fuck it. <laughs> fuck it, bro. In Bezos world, you don't watch good TV. If, if, I don't watch good. But in Bezos Bar, they fucking run everything. You know what I'm saying, bro? The I hope not, dude. I, th- I fear that that's going to happen in New York City, but I really do hope not. I mean, I remember when 7-Eleven took over New York City. See, damn, I, I was too young for that. Shit. So it, you, it was all locally owned, like, everything. bodegas and everything. Yeah. There was no such thing. There was one 7-Eleven. And everything else was just fucking local, local spots. Yeah. And slowly but surely, 7-Eleven took all that fucking shit. And now there's now it's just 7-Eleven and they run up their fucking prices on sodas, bro. Yeah. I'm, I get mad pissed. I walk in there. I try to buy one soda, fucking 20 ounce bottle. They go 260. I go, what? They go, you go buy two for 270. I go, I don't want to drink two. sodas, Yeah. Bro. <laughs> They I always, I always do. I always buy two of you <laughs> in New York City for some it's reason. Fucking it's fucking wild. They go, they go. Ah, uh, one soda is ten. You're just walking but... around with fucking two things if all you, the time. If you get six sodas, it's seven. It's like, how does this logic <laughs> yeah. even work? I'm yeah. trying to get a bag of chips. They're like, you know, four is one dollar. I go. This, this, this is this the one place thing. you go to just have a few things. Yes, they literally are. They only do deals on wholesale. It's so stupid. They only do deals on wholesale. Yeah, that is true. That they're always doing the those deals. Yeah, that's annoying. Yeah, I don't get. I, I hope don't... that. I hope that doesn't happen to the bar scene. I hope that Amazon no. Jeff Bezos doesn't come in and just get into that industry because Co- that would be COVID taking everything. There's a COVID's... nice to a personality to a place. I'll never forget. There's this bar. Uh, it's called the Old Town. It's right in Union Square, and okay. he was watching. It was the night of the Oscars. There's one TV and he was just watching like Who's Sports he? Center. The one guy, old guy, it's bar has been there since the okay. 1800s, maybe even earlier. It's one of the oldest bars in New York City. It has like really great wings in America. And um, yeah. And it's the night of the Oscars and he just has like Sports Center. You know what Sports Center just loops and it's the same show every half an hour. Yeah. So we're on like the second loop of the same exact Sports Center on the one TV and it's literally the night of the Oscars. I'm like, yo man, do you think uh, you could maybe put on the Oscars? Nobody's in the fucking bar. No, no. He goes, no, absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, all right. Hey, what it's the biggest do? award show. It's like the second most watched thing. But I mean, look, that guy, it's, it, that's not I a good it. personality. That's the only example that I came up with of like, I like personality, but that is a, I, I think like that's that. still better than, yeah, if, some like corporation just came in. It was like all Shake Shack, but then Shake Shack had a bar aspect or just like make the, like, Bro, I don't think I prefer this. that. No Oscars allowed. I'll tell you this. <laughs> it's I love that fucking dude. die. I love that dude because yeah. you know why? In his mind, he goes, he goes, I didn't even like the fucking movies. Why am I going to watch them to talk, talk about how good they were in it? Yeah. Why am I going to watch these fools talk about how good they were in shitty movies? I don't even fucking like, I'd rather watch a, I'd rather watch LeBron miss a fucking three shot two, three more times, you know? Yeah. It was I like golf. This. It was there was no sport. It, it was, was golf. Like, yeah, that's was, even more offensive. It's like after the Super Bowl, it's like this yeah, is because the Oscars are on early March. There's literally it's like yeah, I guess some NBA, but it was funny. This is. But, awesome. I mean, it was at least it was a personality, and he stayed true to whatever the fucking personality that was. And you know what? People what? go to that ball for that man. Yeah, they go for the wings. <laughs> no, well, you're right. There's yeah. definitely people that go for that guy. People that he go has for clients that guy. and their friends, and he t- probably complains about who knows what. So COVID has taken all this shit, but it's not yeah, going to become sucks. Bezosville. But I want to say this. COVID's done something good, bro. It did something good. COVID's done something good. I now, I know everybody's saying, what, I know yeah, everybody's what saying what the fuck is happening. Let me finish. I just want to say thank you, COVID. I just want to send my regards out to COVID What are you right doing now. right now? What, what the do you fuck mean? are you doing? Wait, it's miserable. Wait. I just was all sad all weekend. I'm like, this virus. I just want to say, sucks. shut up, Robbie. It sucks. Robbie, let me get this out. Ready? I'm mad, sad, and now you're thanking COVID. Shut up, you mashed potato. Let me talk. All right. I just want to say thank you, COVID. I appreciate your work because you finally did something good. Santa Con 2020 has officially been canceled in New York City. Oh, my God. <laughs> Bro, you are the face of Santa Con. 
I know. When people think of Sam Scott, they think of you. I know. And that's I would, problem. I would be surprised if you were like every year you had a Santa outfit with your boys from Staten Island. You Dude, go and you crush Santa Con. You know what sucks for Santa Con for me? People think I'm dressed up as Santa even when I'm not. <laughs> Do you wear red? I wear shit? nothing by accident. I'll be wearing a red, red champion sweatshirt and everyone thinks I'm fucking I'm dressed up as Santa Claus. Yo, honestly, I can during, see it if you maybe like wore a red hat too. during the holidays, I can't sit on a chair. I can't sit down on a chair with fear <laughs> that a kid won't sit on my lap asking me for fucking Nintendo, bro. I can't sit down. I put shit on my lap during Excuse the holidays. Me, Excuse yeah, me, sir. Can I I'm, have getting, Nintendo Switch? I'm getting little fucking little kids all the time. And, and, and the mom's just being like, just let him sit on your lap. I know you're not saying I go. What the fuck is happening? <laughs> what the fuck is happening? If I walk through a mall, that's like you can't wear Christmas colors during I, the holidays. I can't. Then. I don't own a Christmas sweater because I'm worried I'm going to be shuffled into the back section of the mall. You yeah, know? you could what be like a young you? Santa Claus. You could definitely get cast in a movie as like young Santa. If ever there's a movie about Santa and he's fucking up, he's his in life. New York and he's in his twenties. <laughs> he's figuring that out. Santa, Santa, <laughs> Santa before his out. origin story. Yo, you should write it. The this Santa is me. origin story. This is Santa's origin story, uh, where the where, where all the fucking bitter and anger went melted away into the kindness. Ho ho Fuck ho! Fuck Tim Allen, bro. Fuck Tim Allen. I didn't fall off no. If I fell off a roof, it was because I was taking dabs, bro. Okay. <laughs> Santa, yo, mommy, why is Santa taking dabs, bro? <laughs> I think you should write uh, this screenplay. For, I'm not uh, going down the chimney. I'm blowing shit up the chimney, bro. Okay. <laughs> you know where me and eating all the cookies came from? My fucking munchy, munchy, munchy. <laughs> they're, they're like, yeah, can you bring the gifts to my house? I go, yeah, just give me some fucking cookies. Okay. Just leave out some fucking just cookies. Just rip the bong on the fucking. Just, just leave and something out for just me. Just the bong. And I go, and no one wake up. No one fucking talk to me. Don't, I'm not even real. Okay. Just leave me the fuck alone. <laughs> okay. That's all I want. That's all I want is uh, that's all I want is Santa. I'm just looking for my Mrs. Claus, you know. I'm just looking. I'm just looking for my Mrs. Claus out. Well, there. you won't find her at SantaCon this year. I won't find her at SantaCon, and we want to say COVID first good thing you did. Yeah, first good thing you did. I did SantaCon once. Of course you did. And I was like, I mean, come on, I fit every of course <laughs> check did. mark of SantaCon. Did you dress up as a reindeer? Uh no, I bought a Santa sweat like Christmas sweater. I yeah. I dressed up as Santa, Santa Con. Of course, but some people do reindeers to stay Yeah, down. no, they get they do reindeer, elves, they do everything. It's Santa. just it's very much I feel like probably your Jersey, Long Island, Staten Island people. It's just don't don't come to the city. They come to the city and they're they're wild. It it's you know what it is? Those are the type of people that they go to a place. They walk indoors talking. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They get they get in a car. They get in a car and they put their feet up on the seats. Yeah. They put their feet up on the dashboard. They SantaCon people don't have regard. No. For anybody else. No. And that's why we're happy then. Well, they coming. don't think they don't give a fuck about you. They just think it's like a and they go to the, the dumpiest bars and they're just on the streets like as if that's the hottest shit and they're. They don't care about anything. They throw up all over the streets. They don't care. It's more like a, it's like a, they think it's still their frat because they meet up with their frat people. They think it's still, they have the same regard with all of New York City as they did for their like frat basement. Bro, they're wild. Wild. Yeah. I will say this. The one funny thing, I wish I could watch Santa Con from like a window up, uh, up above or something. I once, I once seen a fucking dude in a reindeer costume getting ahead from a little elf <laughs> on the no. corner, on the corner. No way. Were on the college, <laughs> where in Murray Hill? I saw, it was on it was on the Upper East Side, bro. I seen a reindeer catching dome from an elf outside. This is insane. Of course, it's insane. This is why we don't need it. I once saw a literally a toy soldier pissing into a garbage can, <laughs> not next to a garbage, into a garbage can. And you know what the worst part is? Later that day, I saw another Santa Claus pick a dirty piece of pizza out of a garbage can. <laughs> These dudes are reckless out yeah. here with Santa Con. These people are literally living wild. So COVID has officially canceled Santa Con. And that's beautiful. That I don't have to beautiful. worry about being people mistaking me for Mr. Mr. Young Claus, you know? <laughs> 
All right, you want right. to get? Do you want to get loud? Yeah, bro. Let's get loud, bro. Come on, bring some heat. What are we talking, Robbie? Uh, all right, so uh, I'm actually not gonna be at my parents' house for much longer. <laughs> I'm moving to in a week. I'm gonna move to Pennsylvania, the Poconos, Pennsylvania, which is like in the middle of kind of nowhere. But I'm gonna be in isolation. I'm gonna be in nature. And if you that, all... if your parents had a Lincoln. If your parents had a Lincoln Navigator, you know what the fucking Poconos are, okay? I just want to throw that out there, all right? <laughs> if you get a pizza and they order garlic knots on the side, you know what the fucking Poconos is, okay? You go, I don't do yeah, Sicilian. It is very regional, down. I guess, the Poconos. It's, the Poconos are, yeah, like, yeah. I guess a mountain range in Pennsylvania. It's like yeah, an I hour and a half outside the city. It was like Big Sur if, it fuck, if, if someone pissed on it. You know what <laughs> yeah. I mean? <laughs> yeah, it's like for crappy wedding. We had, like, people would have... Like prom weekends there. Yes, my parents. Oh, we got a house. In a, it's like a place you could get a giant ass house for mad cheap, and you could just go drink if you're under twenty one. My parents got went there for a weekend, and they got a hot tub that was shaped like a champagne glass. Yeah, <laughs> this is what we're talking Yo, about. there's mad resorts that are like. That. Yo, I've got, been there. I went there to that specific resort with my ex girlfriend, and she was like, "What? Where did you take me?" <laughs> Not, we didn't stay at the resort. We just went for a night to see like a stand up comedian. Uh-huh. I love comedy. Even Shut at a the young fuck age. Fuck up. I hate you, bro. I hate <laughs> you. Uh I often think of back to that time because I was like, oh, I wonder if he was actually funny or if I was just let's no- who cares? All right. We're going <laughs> this. That's what it is. There's like a casino out there. Uh-huh. I once went there and I got an Uber to the casino, and the guy was telling me how he had a handle of Jack Daniels that day. That's yeah, awesome. I, I drink a handle of Jack Daniels every day. He goes, yeah. uh, his whole <laughs> thing was uh, you know. My sister, she moved out here. I don't know about this. Is a terrible. He had like a hick no, accent. I don't know what I'm doing. No, but this it, is what I'm gonna do. But there is some dudes out there that like the yeah. city becomes too liberal for them, so they move out to the Poconos. My sister you know? moved. My sister moved out here. She never left. Her her boyfriend moved out here. He never left. I helped him move in one weekend. I never left. My buddy Joe, he came out for a weekend. He never left. And he just goes through like 15 people about how they fucking came to the... It's like, it was like they got trapped. Yeah. They came not- for a weekend to help somebody move and they just never left. And he was going through this whole fucking list of people. It's not and that he's talking about how he, he loves it because he's drinking a handle of Jack by 3 p.m. every single day. He's driving the car I'm in to go to this casino, which is actually pretty nice. No, let's uh, the casino, any casino is pretty nice because the lights, bro. Yeah. But the Poconos <laughs> Casino is crap compared to a real casino. Let's be honest. Like, there's a Guy Fieri restaurant. That's the highlight of it. The highlight is literally, the classy part is Guy Fieri restaurant. Yeah, yeah. Okay? Let's just be honest. The Poconos is the type of place you put a quarter in the bed and, and, and you can make a girl come from the vibrations, you know? <laughs> <laughs> they got the shake in bed to help you. Robbie, you could use that, bro. I'm going to be completely isolated. <laughs> <laughs> but that's what's funny. I mean, I don't know. I, I'm going to be in this in the woods and people really romanticize it. They're like, oh, my God, you're going to you're going to write the greatest screenplay. Oh, mm-hmm. who's the guy Thoreau? Henry he, David he, Thoreau, the fucking yeah. Walden's Ponds. You're going to you're you're going to do uh, whatever. And I'm like, ah, you you guys have crazy expo. What do you think? I'm just going to go to the Pocono's and become this crazy, like artsy, whatever guy. I'm like, no, I'm probably going to write DMS. That's what I'm going to be writing. The Pocono's gonna- isn't going to change you. No, probably you're still not. just going to be the shit bag in the Pocono's. No, exactly. They have all these beautiful expectations of, who yeah, you they're be. like, Oh, it's going to be so great for you. So Zen to be in nature, you're going to go on walks. I'm going to, no, no, like the- yeah. They'll zoom you. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. The dude's are, yeah, it's going to be so zen. The only thing fucking zen is going to be the fucking 30 seconds after he finishes coming from his Brazzers account. You know what I'm saying, bro? <laughs> you know the dude's paying for born in the Poconos. <laughs> like you're going to go on these beautiful hikes. Yeah. And I don't know. I just don't. No, the, literally, you're not going for hikes. You're going to walk out. You're going to walk outside looking because you can't find a recycling bin someplace to put all your fucking butt lights. <laughs> yeah. You just got toss it in the woods somewhere, you dirty boy. Yeah, my dad's like, oh, maybe you'll find a nice snow bunny. I'm like, if anything, I'll go hit on the shot girls at the casino. <laughs> we'll find it in these mountains. Yeah, the, but, there's no way. You're going to be on Craigslist fucking yeah. hitting up some girl being like, being like yeah. hey, yo, you want a Zoom hookup? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you'll be fucking you'll, you'll be angling your fucking camera picking up your laptop it'll just be on your taint you won't even see your dick 
<laughs> You're going to be a mess. <laughs> no, it'll be. I mean, it is what it is. There'll be a fireplace. I'll be able to look at the fire. What are you going to do? That's as sad as I'm going to get. You're going to look at a fire. Wow. Yeah. I think people think that the wood, like something about nature just will, it'll bring this beautiful story or this beautiful aura to you. And that no. I don't see happening. No, people that the same live in... ass dude in the polka dots. Yes. I think Play some to... NFL street. Maybe I'll bring my PlayStation. I didn't go to Paris and then all of a sudden be like, oh, I think I could be a sculptor. I didn't go to fucking yeah. Florence and be like, oh, I am a Renaissance man. You know what I did? I <laughs> so said, you go to Milan and become one of the top designers, fashion no. designers in the world. <laughs> you know what I did in Paris? I was fucking busting out my one euro so I could go in the public bathroom to take a <laughs> I always say this, up, that bro. people go, that go to Europe from America and they just do the same shit that they do in America. They go to the clubs that are probably owned. They go to like a Tao yes. group club. <laughs> they go to fucking get drunk at a restaurant that serves similar ish food to what it's so. And they come back to like, Oh, I just need to find myself in Europe. It's like, you didn't find shit. You found the same shit you do in New York, <laughs> in Europe. You know? And you just took pictures. It's a little bit different of a backdrop. <laughs> like, that's you might what as well. you found. You didn't hey, find yourself. You still don't, uh, you still don't understand like, socialist government like you're not oh. you're not like thinking about no and then you come back oh. and you're like yeah you, you want to you want save a, no, a couple thousand dollars buy a green screen and get a fucking google translate and just have that yeah. shit playing in the background bro yeah. <laughs> you'll be confused with not knowing what's behind you no matter what you yeah. know how many pictures i post for in fucking europe having no idea what was behind me but being like it looks <laughs> cool yeah, exactly. And then I go home and later someone's like, oh, you went to hold on. Huh? I go, yeah, yeah, of course. It was beautiful. It was Which beautiful. is fine. But let's just call a spade a spade. You went on vacation. You did not find yourself like, oh, no. I went backpacking. That was like a big trend. I don't know if it's still obviously not now. But when I graduated college, a lot of people were finding themselves in Europe. And I was just. And not you're not going to you're not going to find yourself in the poker. No, I'm hoping I just come back. I'm not fucking thinking about Trump's conspiracies. Like, oh, you know, sure. maybe I was voter pro. <laughs> No, I hope it you, doesn't change me. <laughs> no, you, no, Poconos won't change you. I'm hoping that you come back. Uh, I definitely will be coming back. I'm hoping that you come back. The, the, literally, I go, because I'm talking, I'm like, Robbie, yo, you, you we go, you're going to eat healthy. Robbie, you're going to go, you're going to eat healthy. It's going to be fucking good. You're going to feel good. You know what he's doing? The kid's Googling how late the Wendy's is open yeah. on the fucking <laughs> drive through Yeah. I'm like, eh, at least the Wendy's open till 1 a.m. Everything else closes at 10. I know. There's no pizza. There's going to be Domino's. Domino's. We call it Domino's out there. Nice. We're going to Domino's. Nice. I, well, my friends will come. I'll be like, yeah, there's a really great Italian spot. It's crazy out here. Domino's, bro. Domino's. I, I get, I get the, the buffalo chicken at the <laughs> Domino's. Yeah. <laughs> they have a really, yeah, exactly. I get the fuck. The, they the, do some pasta dishes now too. They have some oh, really great. They have phenomenal. some Italian sandwiches phenomenal. that are delicious. They, they 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 do the flatbread at the Domino's, bro. I'll yeah. tell you this. I I, I go to Domino's. I I go honestly. Uh, Domino's is the uh, best pizza spot out there. I go. Uh, give me a give me a how you say uh, how you say uh, how you say uh, the five five five. The yeah. <laughs> Chica, chica, chica. I don't even know. <laughs> yeah. Single, single. Uh, uh, however you say it. How you say? Uh, give me. Uh, how you say? How you say? Uh, uh, two liter diet Pepsi. How you yeah. say? Uh, how you say? Uh, give me a uh, uh, the, the Domino's. You must try. You must try. Uh, how you say? Uh, 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 chocolate uh, lava cake. <laughs> with the, the fucking, Domino's. With the cheat. Yeah, please. Pepperoni. Go. That's all they have. There's nothing. It, yeah, but that's, that's the best nice. Italian food that you can get out there once <laughs> there's like a hibachi spot <laughs> okay. right next door and i'm fucking with the guys at domino i also go whenever i go into domino's i, I talk with like a real new york accent of like i fucking love this domino's i do i do the whole <laughs> fucking thing every time i go i do this because i what the fuck i usually have my buddy with me and i'm like watch this and i fuck with them and they think it's funny of i'm course. like this domino's why I'm like, yo, my fucking family wants to go to this hibachi shit next door. You think if I fucking bring those Domino's over there, they'll heat it up on the hibachi? <laughs> and they look like people. They Dude, I'm constantly, I constantly go into the hibachi and I constantly. Hibachi, where is this hibachi? I, and also, I the hibachi out there is, it's absurdly expensive for go, just frozen chicken. 
of course I walk in. I go, hey, how you doing? I, I know you got the shrimp shit. I go, I go, I go, I know you like that. I got fucking a couple cheesesteaks in, in my fucking cool <laughs> over here. Can you do a I couple got some tomatoes. You eat this up yeah, for me. Yo, yo, can you do a couple chopped cheese for me? I, I need, yeah, exactly. I, yeah, what about, can I get sausage, egg, and cheese on this fucking? I mean, it's already hot. You know, it's already hot. I brought my own ingredients. I just need you to eat it up. And I'm always fucking, I'm always backseat cook. I'm always fucking grill master. And I'm always backseat cooking at the fucking hibachi. I go, whoa, 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 whoa. Be careful with that yeah, shit, you know? Yeah. You're fucking, it's too hot. Be careful. Yeah, just be let careful. me do it. Just let me do it. I go, and I'm fucking scooting them away. All right, show's over. All right, my turn. I'm taking out my fucking, I'm taking out my fucking little apron that I have, which is just two titties. Just the apron with two titties. And say, I run the grill, bro. And I throw a T-boat on. I go, who's really eating in this fucking place? That's my yeah. hibachi. I've, I'm actually banned from every hibachi across the United States. <laughs> I'm actually banned from every hibachi. Yeah, I'm not a fan the... of hibachi. No, no. The dude tries to throw a strip in my mouth. I slap it away. I go, get the fuck out of here, you loser. Yeah. <laughs> I go, what's fun about this? I like my food on a plate, okay? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, Domino's is, is a hot they spot do, for they me They do the out fucking there. volcano. The fucking steam yeah, the comes volcano. out. I go, you can't trick me. I've seen a real volcano. That ain't a fucking volcano. <laughs> I, 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 I'm literally you know how most... many fucking volcanoes there are on Staten Island? <laughs> Where I'm from. <laughs> I go, you want to see a real volcano? I pull out my fucking Google, little, yeah. my, my vape, bro, and I fucking rip yeah. it. I, and I blow it. I blow it through a bunch of onions. I go, now that's a volcano, motherfucker. <laughs> actually, if I'm being honest, I love uh, hibachi. <laughs> really? Yeah, Do you actually? I love it. Shrimp, f- fucking fried rice, fucking, they, they're doing the, It's a show. I fucking love no, it. They're I actually talented. It's... It is fun sometimes. All right. What do you want to talk about? What do I want to talk about? All right. So let's do it. So here's the deal. I'm sad. I know. I know everyone's out there. They listen. They go, Sebastian, you're so fun. You laugh. You have fun here. What's happening? Is this all pretend? It's not pretend. This is a time of my day where I'm happy. I love talking to you guys. This truly makes me happy. But I'm sad. Shit's sad. The world is sad. Life sucks right now. Right? Absolutely. I'm not drinking. Robbie, you could attest to that, right? He has not had a drink since my birthday. That's beautiful, right? I have not had not had a fucking sip of alcohol. Just called me his friend. Just called him his friend. <laughs> I haven't had a sip of alcohol. <laughs> See, it's, it's taken that long with no alcohol. If I was drinking, I, 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 we already would have not been friends anymore. You know, I not drinking, taking care of myself. So what do I do with all this sadness? How am I going to cope? I'm coping with Christmas this year, motherfucker. <laughs> I am going to take all the sadness and fucking literally go hard on Christmas. I'm not celebrating Christmas this year. I'm using Christmas, bro. Everyone's like, what's Sebastian doing? What's he up to? Oh, shit. Sebastian's doing Christmas, you know, because I need to. It's going to make me feel good. It's going to make. So what? My life stinks. I literally I go to bed cold at night. I got no one to lie next to. I don't know. Maybe I fill my bed with a bunch of fucking beanie babies from fucking Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Have them fucking tickling my toes at night. I'm going hard on Christmas, bro. Chris- I am coping with Christmas. I-, I swear to God, I feel bad. I feel bad. You know what I want to do? I'm going to fucking throw in a onesie and suck down a fucking candy cane, bro. Okay? I'm going to suck down a candy cane. So you- Christmas is your drug. Like Christmas you're- is... You're coping with Christmas. I'm coping with Christmas. I can't That's go. That's beautiful. I, That's I, it is a powerful drug. Nostalgia is a powerful drug. It's gonna be so beautiful. Whenever I feel I can't go out on the town, I'm gonna make me a gingerbread house. Fuck that. I'm gonna make me a gingerbread fucking town, bro. I'm gonna be going out <laughs> on a gingerbread town, licking all the gun drops all over the fucking little city, bro. No child is safe in gingerbread town when Big Man Sebastian comes just, through. I can just picture you making a whole little town with the little cookies and the gumdrops. And the- <laughs> just do, 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 and then fucking suck oh, the mold down, It's so bro. sad. The world is so sad. Ooh, the world is so sad. Up looks good. And fucking doing icicle droppings, bro. Yeah. <laughs> There's no light inside of me. I'm lighting a whole fucking tree. <laughs> okay. If I'm going to feel bad, I'm going to fucking lay some Christmas on top of that one. Right? I'm not, I refuse. And I say this, let's all cope with Christmas. I like this. Let's Maybe all I'll get a tree cope. when I'm out there. Dude, the smell of a tree. I'll tell you what, you could barely smell the piss in your pants. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I'm coping with Christmas. You could barely smell the little fucking tinkle that you, you left on your, pa- on your underwear when you're fucking looking up at a beautiful fucking balsam fur, bro. 
That's how you, you do cope trains? with Christmas. Do you do the trains, the Christmas trains? I do the choo-choo trains, you know? I yeah. can't be out. I can't. I got no job. My only job is making sure that that fucking choo-choo train, I fucking hit play on that shit, and it goes doo 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 and around <laughs> the fucking the train. Throughout the town. Who needs a job when I'm the mayor of fucking Whoville in my house, bro? <laughs> I'm coping with Christmas. I'm sad. If I'm going to be crying, I'm going to fucking run to the TV and throw on It's a Wonderful Life and give myself a reason to cry, bro. <laughs> I'm coping with Christmas. I'm using Christmas because Christmas is just about fucking feeling sad and pushing those feelings down with either food or fucking cheery songs. Well, yeah, usually at the end of the year, it's getting cold and this is a beautiful time to like, yeah, you have a, come you, together and see you know, your friends and family go like that's You know, the ants, the, 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 like the ants out there, she's single. She's single, but she's still December 1st. Ding dong, ding dong. She fucking <laughs> is Christmas. <laughs> that's you. That's going to be me. I'm going to be Uncle well, this Christmas. This is coming bro. out December 1st. This is coming out December Maybe 1st. Maybe we should be those ants. We'll do the ant challenge and we'll cope with Christmas. I'm coping with Christmas. I'm doing 25 days of Christmas. I'm watching a bad movie. Every- I, 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 my life is bad. Might as well make a movie, watch a bad movie, you know? <laughs> I think Christmas movies are good. You don't like Christmas movies? Dude, turn on a Hallmark one, bro. I just watched The Christmas <laughs> Night the other day. K-N-I-G-H-T, bro. Okay? <laughs> K-N-I-G-H-T. Dude. You want to want to talk about garbage, bro? But nobody judges bad in Christmas Town. We need to make it about Christmas. Needs to be about pushing down the bad. Yeah. When do we, gum drops, bro? <laughs> Two words: gum drops. Gum <laughs> drops. You don't need cocaine. You got gum drops. You don't need coke. You got gum drops. Why do I? Why do I need to have someone that I love when I have? Rudolph the Red Nose. <laughs> what are, are you speaking about a significant other or just anyone to love? Anyone in general. Why do I need to love when all the Christmas movies show me that love is inside of me all along? I don't know. I guess you don't. This I'm, is good. We'll do it. We should do a challenge every day. We do something really Christmassy and we try to up it until the day of Christmas. Bro. Or maybe I'm we going- both do it and people can decide who did a better job. On Bro, the land Instagram. I love this. Who's Christmas? Who won the day? And we'll yes. keep track. Robbie versus Sabat. I'll be out there, so I'll try to do who knows what. But I'll need some shit to do. See, this is more of the shit that I, I lean to do. Yes. Not a screenplay or anything that's productive. Who's coping with Christmas better? Yeah, and we could have people vote. I fucking love this. I'm going to go hard, bro. I'll tell All you right. this. I already have a Shrek Christmas plus stuffed animal, bro. <laughs> You don't got to tell me who's going to go hard for Christmas. Yeah. And people send us your coping with Christmas. If you, anyone can get in on the fun, send us how you're coping with Christmas. If you're feeling sad, if you're feeling down, and if you don't celebrate Christmas, any holiday shit works. Any holiday shit. We love that. And if you don't celebrate Christmas, do it this year. I feel like Drake, I mean, like Drake, it's all part of the same. Fucking thing. do like it. When I was a kid, like I think of Christmas time. We, I think of like all of the things. we. A hundred percent. A hundred percent. It's about the holiday season, right? We love the yeah. holidays around here. Do it. Do it. Sing fucking Christmas carols. Yeah. Sing Chris. I'm going to be singing Christmas carols and I'm not drinking until fucking fucking December 31st when Christmas season is over and I can't cope with Christmas anymore. I'm going to slam some fucking booze, bro. <laughs> December 31st of this fucking year is over. The year is over. I'm fucking ding dong, ding dong, fucking slamming it, bro. What's but your favorite Christmas then, movie, Sebastian? Uh, what's my favorite Christmas movie? Christmas, yeah. uh, the Christmas Carol Muppets, Muppets Christmas Carol. Really? Yeah. Well, I wouldn't have. Dis- I wouldn't. I don't know. I just want favorite Christmas song. Favorite Christmas song. Oh, there's no place like home for the holidays. Oh, fitting this year. <laughs> this is fitting this year. I'm telling you, and I'm You've gonna listen to that song. I'll tell, you, I'll tell you this. I've been Veterans home for fucking day. Flag Day, bro. I've been home for Columbus fucking day. Gr- Columbus Day, bro. I've been, been home, home for, for fucking, every holiday this year. I've been home for all the holidays, bro. But I'll tell you this: all the holidays I didn't take advantage of. Christmas, no. I'm taking advantage of. And by the end of Christmas, I'm literally. 
I'm going to be fucking squeezing two gingerbread men under my arm, fucking riding a reindeer down the street dressed as a snowman, and I'm going to feel nothing. That's how hard I'm going to do Christmas. My tolerance <laughs> is going to be, my Christmas tolerance is going to be through the roof. Santa Claus could come to my house. I'll be like, big fucking deal. Are you kidding me? I, I, I fucking jerked off. Like inside. drugs and alcohol. <laughs> oh, shit. His tolerance yes. is really high. <laughs> I'm going to make my tolerance high for Christmas, bro. My to- I'm going to get my tolerance through the roof. Santa Claus is going to be coming down the chimney. I'm going to be going up the chimney. My tolerance is so high. I'm like, get out the way, you loser. I'm going to ruin Christmas for me. I'm going to ruin it. This is the year. I've never allowed myself to ruin just, it because I loved so it so hard. Keep it track at home. That was the second different bit that you went up a chimney in. <laughs> in this episode. All I'm saying is two all different I'm times. Is, this episode, is, you've gone up a chimney. All I'm saying is I'm fucking not only am I fucking with Christmas, I'm fucking with gravity, bro. Okay? I'm defying gravity, bro. I'm going, yo, you may be going down the slide. I, my ass will be fucking climbing up the slides, bro. You're fucking sh- shooting. All the smoke will be going. Fuck, fucking some dude will be fucking shooting smoke up the fucking chimney. I'll be fucking shooting up too. The Mary Poppins dude will be like, hey, look, a dude just came up the chimney. Hey, hey, chim chimney, chim chimney. Here comes Sebastian. <laughs> I'm shooting up chimneys, bro. I hey, love bro. it. Hey, you it's know a what? great episode. I'm a fucking innovator, bro. I see Santa goes down. I go, what's harder than going squeezing down a chimney? Squeezing your fat ass up a chimney, and I'm doing that shit, okay? Does I, he normally walk out the front door after he comes down the chimney? Or does he normally go up after he delivers the toy? That's not a question for me, okay? Don't be an asshole. <laughs> All right. Don't be a fucking asshole. Ask, ask so fucking- cope with Christmas. Cope with us. So cope with Christmas. Cope We're going to be Christmas. doing it. You'll be coping with Christmas. It 25 is a, days, bro. We're just doing lean into it. 25 days coping with Christmas. I'm taking pictures. I'm doing fucking Christmas hard as a motherfucker. Call me a glazed ham, okay? Because I am going hard for Christmas. I think Earth. this is good. I think this is good too, Robbie. It's going to be nice. And I'm not going to feel sad because Christmas is my drug. All right, Robbie, let's do a couple calls. Well, we actually run a little long, so I only have time for one call. That's cool. Hey, so I'm super excited because I just manifested a new apartment. Um, I live in this really crappy studio apartment in the West Village. My bed is like lofted and I have like a foot above my head like length of space above my head and it just kind of sucks so um i was thinking it'd be really nice if my management company would allow me to move into like a one bedroom just like stay on my lease and move into a one bedroom and they did and they sent me pictures and i'm super excited so yeah that's what's happening fuck yes i love this call i'm Damn, about bro. this call, I, wish bro. I, I wish you called a week earlier I could have manifested myself an apartment. <laughs> <laughs> I you know didn't even I think of that strategy. I've been using Street Easy. I should have been manifesting. Bro, I'll tell you this. Fuck, fuck, fuck Street Easy. Just think hard. Yeah. <laughs> fuck Street Easy. I was, we was, I was trying to find a place I could stay so I wouldn't have to move home and then move back. But you know what? You fucking complain so much. That's probably why your ass is home. <laughs> right, let me just say this. Thank you so much for calling us. That's beautiful. You know what I love about this? She's calling not to complain about something. She's calling yeah. just for us to celebrate something with her. Yes. And we're here. And I just want to say to you, fuck yes. Ask for what you want. She asked for what she want and she got what she want. Now I'm going to critique for a second. Okay. Okay. I'm going to critique <laughs> for a second. I love this. I'm about this. One, you need more space than a, than a fucking foot above you. I can't. I, well, I'm going to be. That's no good. That's like it sounds yeah. like you're living in overhead storage. OK, yeah. <laughs> like, like, please, we need more than a carry on to fit in your bed. All right. Also, if you're going to be manifesting, I love this. I like this idea of positive thinking. I'm about this. I'm hippy dippy. You don't know this. Right. If you're going to be manifesting. Dream bigger. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to go to sleep tonight and I'm going to dream about a 5,000 square foot house in Malibu. That's what I'm so. I, why are you manifesting for a one bedroom? Yeah. Where's the fucking. It's got a study, a line. Duplex, right? bro. Yeah, Where's exactly. the duplex? <laughs> I'm, I'm talking Central Park West, bro. You know what? I'm, I manifest all the time, bro. I manifested. I manifested comedy for me. Nice. So at each step, you're like, I want to be on this. Each step, I this, manifest. 
I 100. This is like no bullshit the shit. Stepfathers. That was I, what you were like. I want to be on the stepfathers. I think all it is manifestation. I love this shit. Right. All it is is stopping a little fucking baby about shit. You want something? Say that you want it. That's good. That is a big, I think, obstacle that a lot of people need to get past is that they're embarrassed to say what they want. Of course. And then you're just in some weird, especially, yeah, I feel like in comp, not to get real serious, but you're just in some like weird in between. And it's like, you either got to go for it or not, or you got to set goals how, or something. Do you know how embarrassing it is for my parents upstairs to hear me, their son screaming, their unemployed son that lives in their basement, that he's a mogul. <laughs> Do you know how annoying it must be for them that my mom <laughs> folded my dirty ass underwear downstairs and her her son screaming, I'm Jeff Bezos. I run comedy. I'm the hottest dude in podcast. As she fucking looks at my fucking streak marks underwear. Yeah. You can't tell me I don't manifest 24-7, bro. Screaming. All this is is Gum manifestation. Drops. Cocaine. Yeah. I'm what just... is happening out there? I manifest all the time. Yeah. I'm that's, manifesting that's right good. now, bro. I manifest- All right, what's in our future? What's in what's in our future? Yeah. What's I'll tell you this. So ma- one fucking one fat dicks. Our dicks are getting fat. <laughs> <laughs> hey, if we're gonna be manifesting, we might as well go fucking right to the source. Right? <laughs> right to the source. Let's go to the source. Okay. We're talking <laughs> Robbie and I, if we're manifesting, Robbie and I don't have dicks no more. We got hogs. <laughs> All right. The two, the kids got high. We, we, we're too unrelated high to the podcast performance at all. Un, uh, unrelated? Are you kidding me? I'm a, uh, unrelated. Are you kidding me? <laughs> maybe you want me to to make nudes, so maybe they, maybe it is all related. That's what I'm talking about. I'm saying we put our. You're saying let's cut our, cut our clips and put it on YouTube. I said let's cut them and put on Pornhub, bro. <laughs> what about XTube? We should start. What's going on? I'm advertising saying, the podcast on. Pornhub. We should do an OnlyFans episode where where I talk and Robbie just literally <laughs> What are you saying? <laughs> what else have you manifested? This is why we can't record the episode late, okay? What, what else have you manifested? What else have I manifested? I manifested I think I manifested negative things in my life. That's probably true. Anytime that you're like, I was scared, I was scared my ex will break up with me. Scared, scared, scared. You know what happened? Yeah. You know, because I called her my ex. Yeah. <laughs> right? I was yeah. fucking, I've manifested me. I was worried that, like, I, I was worried I'd get in trouble. I wor- worried, like, in high school, I'd get in trouble. I was worried this would happen. I worried something would happen to my friends. And all that shit did happen. So I realized we're creating our own realities. Yeah. This is some yeah, real hippie right. shit. All I got to do is <laughs> dream about. We don't life sucks, but if we keep fucking our heads down and believing it's going to be beautiful, we'll see the beauty in it rather than the fucking negativity. Yeah, that is true. I believe in my heart. If I only am looking for beauty, I will only be seeing beauty. That's nice. Yeah, maybe so. And I honestly want to be doing this podcast and I want to be putting work into it and I want people to be listening and all those the fucking things are happening, right? Not only because I want it, but because we're working hard because we keep on saying that we want that shit, okay? Yeah, we are. That is true. I don't want to feel fucking pain no more. So you know what I'm going to be doing? Coping with Christmas. I'm going to be coping with Christmas, motherfucker. <laughs> December 1st, the challenge starts today. December 1st, the challenge starts today. Fuck who's coming down your chimney. The boys are coming up your chimney. Hit the music, Robbie. (laughs)